All right, Paolo, I always like to check out a comic artist's workspace and to see what they use for inspiration, and I also like to check out their original art. Oh, uh, this is from Daredevil. It was our uh, 2011 run. Um, this is the uh, character studies I did for issue number seven, which took place in the snow when uh, <laughs> Daredevil took a bunch of kids on a field trip. Um, this is the one that I actually uh, got the best single issue uh, for the year. And let's uh, go ahead and let everyone know that your dad also inked this. And oh, your dad is here with us. Uh, hi, I'm Joe Rivera. I'm Paulo Rivera's dad. <laughs> and a fellow <laughs> Eisner Award winner. winner. Yep. Yes, uh, yes I am, for which Mark Boyd never ceases to give me grief. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Because he was a rookie that year. That, that's when he won all of his awards. His kind of an amazing year. thing to win yeah. Eisner as a rookie. Yes, yeah. uh, I contributed to luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at some other uh, examples of work you guys have done together, including this variant cover for the Black Panther. Tell me about how you guys approached this cover. Uh, it was a series of four covers uh, interconnecting. And I think it's the most covers I've ever uh, done for Marvel that all connected. There's absurd detail <laughs> yeah. in there as you get closer and you look at it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, wow. I based it off of, uh, now I'm going to forget the name, is uh, Tanzanian you know, traditional artwork. Um, they did some wood wood carvings. I, I think you guys actually had some we, we around the house. Right yeah, that, that's how I knew of this like style. For some reason, it, I just thought it would look good as a cover. And um, I know it, the, the funny thing about this cover is both my dad and I noticed it. We thought it was going to take a lot more time, but actually, you know, didn't take any much yeah, no. that much longer. Very surprised because and it's all because of this. It's mostly shadow. Well, I'm sure that I'm sure that was your favorite part to ink. Yeah, <laughs> because it's really nice and dark, but then you have all these little details here. I don't yeah. mind the lines. Really, yeah. I don't. This is one of your more eclectic and unique pieces here. Yeah. This is the art for the invitation for your wedding. Yeah, yeah, I did a bunch of art for the wedding. Uh, my my wife's name is April. Uh, as my, my dad says, what are the what are the chances? Because I was a huge Ninja Turtle fan <laughs> growing up, uh, and so she's also a graphic designer. And so we, what we wanted to do with our wedding was um, tastefully geek, and it was it was it was a beautiful wedding. It was at uh, Blue Hill at Stone Barns uh, in New York. Uh, Amazing place. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was absolutely awesome. Let's give let's take a look at some of the uh, the characters that you. This is a true yeah. Where's Waldo yeah. type part. Oh, look. Oh, look, he's not on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's, he's the only there's... one not on here. Yeah. You got some of the classic DC heroes. Oh, look, the tick made it in. Yeah, gotta do the tick. Oh, Cal Drogo. Well, it, it's it's organized, so this is my side, and this is this is my wife's Clearly side. Clearly, she's a TV fan. Yeah, so there's some, you know, there's some overlap, but like when I was growing up, I hated the sound of music. Just absolutely hated it. It's her favorite film. <laughs> So, you know, whenever we're trying to show my daughter, you know, YouTube videos, like I'm sitting there, this is the the Spider-Man opening from the 60s TV show, and my <laughs> wife is, you know, doing I am 16 going on 17. This, folks, may be <laughs> the only piece of art in existence that has <laughs> Khaleesi and Julie Andrews from The Sound of Music yep. on the same page. That is skill. 